Hello, everybody. I'm Bethany Walsh, the founder of BougieMiles.com. If you don't mind, before we do anything, giving the video a thumbs up and subscribing. If you're a fan of Bougie, and how could you not be? You already know that my goal is to help you travel as luxuriously as possible while spending as little cash as possible. So in line with that, today I really want to talk about the ways to get Las Vegas or Atlantic City or pretty much any casinos resort fees waived. So a question I get from pretty much everybody who wants to go to Vegas is one, how do I get a free room? And two, how do I get waived resort fees? There are a few videos on YouTube that I've seen so far that are terrible. <laughs> I saw one today where a guy said that the only way to do it was to be Caesar's diamond. He also said that no matter how much you gamble, they won't waive it for you. That might be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Uh, what else have I seen? I've seen the wrong way to actually get status that will help you waive resort fees, et cetera, et cetera. The list goes on. If I get a hundred comments, I will put the list of vloggers who have no idea what they're talking about in the description. So there you go. Everybody comment. Tell me, uh, hmm. Tell me your favorite casino in Vegas and or your favorite buffet. Okay, without further ado, how do you get waived resort fees? There are several ways to do it. The first and most obvious would be to book an offer that includes no resort fee, right? So currently, I think my station casinos, I'll put the link to the promotion in the description, has an offer where no matter which hotel you stay at, which hotel casino you stay at, they will not charge you a resort fee. And obviously it's a special rate, right? Usually those rates are a few dollars more expensive, but that's definitely not gonna be as expensive as the 40 or $50 that you're gonna have to pay in actual resort fees. Hold on, drink time. By the way, this is uh, a very green drink with a splash of vodka because, you know, it's Friday. Okay, number two. The second most obvious way to waive resort fees or not have to pay one is to call your host or just, I've always called the front desk at the casino and asked for the hosts. Like, I don't have a specialized host or my own, right? So what I do, for example, at Cosmo is I go downstairs as I'm checking out. I say, is there any way you can call the hosts and see if they can take anything off the bill? The last time I did this was in April and they took $170 off of a $900 bill. So it definitely works. It's also happened to me at Aria, Bellagio, and then I'm thinking Borgata, but at Borgata, they just took off some room charges because I think the resort fee in Atlantic City is like $15 or something, 10, I don't even know. It's minuscule compared to Vegas. Now, that being said, if you put $10 in a slot machine, nobody's giving you a wave through resort fee, right? You have to play and show that you are a loyal or at least valuable customer. Or sometimes you get somebody on a good day, you know, it all depends. The thing is, it never, ever, ever, ever hurts to ask. So always ask. Or like, so I'm kind of shy sometimes. I know it seems crazy. And if you've ever met me in person, you're also going to think I'm lying about that because I'm socially a butterfly, but I'm still shy. <laughs> I think it's an extroverted introvert is, is what people call me. Anyway, my best friend is like super outgoing. And she is not afraid to ask for anything. Like she'll walk into a soup store and sample 25 soups before she picks one, or she'll just walk out. <laughs> she'll be like, you know what? I'm not hungry anymore. <laughs> uh, she taught me that if you go to Whole Foods, you can get them to cut any cheese you want. I mean, I still feel like an a-hole doing it, but it's, it's, it's a great characteristic to have, especially when you're trying to get something for free, right? <laughs> 
So I make her do it, you know, or if I'm with somebody who's like me, I'll do it myself because I know what I'm doing. Anyway, that one's pretty obvious, but obviously you have to gamble or, you know, have very good luck. Uh, the third way to get waived resort fees is to book an award stay with a hotel loyalty partner, right? I think in Vegas, it's really just MGM and Hyatt that can get waived resort fees. Oh, duh. And Wyndham and Caesars, of course. So those are probably the two biggest partnerships. They are also the two biggest casino chains in Vegas. Now, the only way to do that with Hyatt is to book a Hyatt award stay on points. That is generally not the best use of your points, but always factor in about $55 into your rate to figure out if it's worth it to use your points for that. For Caesars and Wyndham, it's a product of having diamond status. So if you have Wyndham diamond status, you then have Caesars diamond status and Caesars diamond customers do not have to pay resort fees. Now here's where things get a little more complicated. Okay, so the fourth way to get waived resort fees is to actually get a casino loyalty status. So that's Caesars Diamond or Cosmopolitan's Platinum. Both of those will give you waived resort fees at any, well, Cosmo only has that one, on any uh, stay regardless of whether it's an award or not. Uh, we did a whole separate video on how to actually get casino status, and I will link that and hopefully put the video here so that you could just click on it. Okay. Oh, that's another thing I need to vent about. I have seen some of the worst videos, because what I like to do is I like to do a little bit of research to see what people are searching for, and then I like to look at the videos that are the top ranked for that search so that I can figure out, you know, how I'm going to present my amazing information to you guys. And there is a video that says the easiest way to get diamond status is to spend $15,000 at hotels a year. <laughs> Why would anybody do that? I think the whole goal of trying to get immersed in casino rewards is probably to save money and get comp rooms, not spend $15,000. If 25 people comment on this, I'll point out that video and I'll even tell the person how stupid they are. Okay. So another way to get waived resort fees in Vegas or at casinos in general is to book via a third party and find a rate that includes resort fees. For example, the MasterCard travel portal that I talk about all the time actually waives resort fees on a lot of their rates. So basically, if you go into the chat box and ask the travel advisors what the best rate is for you know the hotel that you're looking at, first ask them is the tax included, which generally it is on that site. And second, ask if they have any rates with a waived resort fee. I was booking Aria Sky Suites for June, I believe it was, for three nights. And on MGM's website, the absolute cheapest rate for me was $1,700. And that did not include resort fees. I chatted the MasterCard people and they quoted me a rate of $1,450, including resort fees and taxes. So I was saving approximately $450. Now, of course, this is not a guarantee, right? But it pays to look. Um, if you want me to do another video on like the top five things that I do when I'm booking a hotel in Vegas and what my process is, I'm happy to do that because I pretty much don't know anybody in the world who can get as good of a deal as I can. Okay, last but not least. Wait, am I almost home? Okay, last but not least. Check out the app. 
Life's. Okay, so there's M Life, Caesars Rewards. I've never played on that one. And Win. Win is the one where if they give you a uh, a free night based on like cashing in your rewards for the app, you will not have to pay a resort fee. Okay, so for example, I'll. <laughs> I mean, I really live it. I'm not even kidding. I have it on auto right now, and I have eight thousand gems. 8,000 gems happens to be more than enough to book a free night at Wynn on several nights. They have dynamic pricing for the rewards. And uh, included in that is the resort fee. Now, not every casino program will waive the resort fee on comp nights. For example, if you have like a comp offer from Identity or Venetian, which is uh, Grazi, um, what are the others? Caesars, of course, and MGM, M Life. MGM does not waive the fee on comps. Neither does Caesars nor Cosmo, unless it's the free annual nights that you get for being an elite member. But on these rewards, Win does. Okay, so I completely forgot to mention that. Probably the actual easiest way not to pay a resort fee is to stay somewhere that does not charge one, right? There are several options near and around the Strip. Also, there's a lot of options downtown. You have like a Hyatt Place near the Strip, Marriott Chateau, uh, Westin. Those are just the ones off the top of my head, but there are plenty. Okay, so if you don't mind, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share this video with anybody who you think it might help or anyone who you know is going to Vegas anytime soon. And let me know what else you guys want me to cover in the future. And of course, I want to know if you have figured out any other ways to get waived resort fees in Vegas. All right, have a great night. Bye.